Hey everybody, Fina Venusa Kaltsongo here, plastic surgeon, fitness, wellness, and well-being coach. I'm talking to us today about how there's a need for us to support growing young girls in our immediate environment. I'm talking of your daughter, your niece, especially the teenagers, because body image issues are a big problem. As a plastic surgeon, we very, very frequently encounter clients who want some cosmetic surgery because from when they were very young, they believed there was something wrong with their body. And no matter what you do for such clients, they're never happy. They don't want to go from plastic surgeon to plastic surgeon. They go from cosmetic surgery to cosmetic surgery. You sort out the nose today, tomorrow is the cheek. You sort out the cheek today, tomorrow it's the tummy. And they're just never satisfied. And actually the books warn us about such clients. So back when I was much younger in secondary school, I went to an all girls burden house. I got a lot of names because I was, um, I've never been the nice, curvy, slim young girl. I've always been angular, athletic. And because of that, I got a lot of names. Well, looking back, I don't remember any one of them being derogatory, but they affected me to a certain extent. And now fast forward 30 something years now, I'm, four, I'm going to be 49. And those that same body, that means I have more efficient metabolism. That means I don't put on weight easily. I lose weight easily. Soon after childbirth, within six weeks, I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight. I eat whatever I want and my weight hardly ever changes. Those same features that I didn't like back then are the ones that are working for me now. What if I was the opposite? There were so many who were on the big side when we're in secondary school and today they're nice and fit it was baby fat and how about those that haven't lost it they haven't lost the body they haven't lost the body weight um the excess weight that they carried as young girls there's so much they can do to lose weight but whether they lose the weight or not it's so important that deep inside here in their mind they know that they're enough they know that the body external appearance doesn't define them and that what matters most is what you think about yourself. So until next time, who is that young girl that you suspect might be struggling with body image issues? Your daughter, your niece, your cousin. If you are not in the position to have that conversation with them, get the person who is in the position to have that conversation with them. Because sometimes these problems are so serious they carry it into adulthood and they're never truly happy. Let them know that they're enough and that what they believe up here is what matters the most. So until next time, let's keep having that conversation. Let our girls know that what is inside is what matters most. Thank you.